Post-election consumer confidence in Europe to China's profits and the U.S. consumer picture. Along with inflation in Japan, I'm Jeff Kleintop with what you need to know about the week ahead. Monday marks the start of Paris Fashion Week, setting the tone for the market moving events and data coming in this week fashionably late, concentrated on Thursday and Friday. On Thursday, we get the Eurozone consumer confidence reading and the pace of increase in profits among China's industrial businesses, which likely slowed slightly in the January to May period. Consumer demand remains soft in China, as we may hear from Nike when it reports earnings also on Thursday. Friday's U.S. PCE inflation, personal spending and income, and the University of Michigan's widely watched consumer sentiment survey will give us the latest read on the U.S. consumer. Now, a heated debate has been taking place this year uh, as to why, in a range of surveys, people seem to be so down on the economy, with consumer sentiment cooling notably. Explanations abound, and many analysts downplay respondents' feelings of economic gloom, citing elevated household balance sheets and strong economic data, but retail sales for May showed tepid real gains last week. After a year of spending more than their income by borrowing or drawing down savings, consumers are showing some signs of distress, especially with the labor market cooling. On Thursday and Friday, Olive Garden owner Darden Restaurants and CarMax may indicate how much consumers are cutting back on discretionary spending when they report. Finally, Japan's Tokyo inflation for June may show climbing consumer prices, reinforcing signals of another rate hike from the Bank of Japan coming soon. A rebound in Japan's industrial production, which we expect to see in data a few minutes after Friday's inflation report, will probably add to the outlook for rate hikes. Thanks for watching.